Howdy folks, it's your friend Dominic. I just came back from an evening of a catfishing on a local river. We caught a nice channel cat, we caught a real good flathead catfish, and I figured while I'm unpacking my car, I'd take a break and make a video and talk about something for you today. Because ever since I was younger, I've always wanted to have my own fishing show. So here it is. Thank you for tuning in today. It's catfish themed, as you probably guessed it, and we're gonna be talking about catfish rattles. Stay tuned, I'll tell you my thoughts and opinions. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you once again for tuning in. If you've seen my most recent video about using flat-sided crankbaits for largemouth and smallmouth bass, thank you. If you haven't, I'll leave it pinned below in the comments so you can give it a gander. It's a really good, insightful piece on targeting bass when they can be really fussy. And if you saw that video, I mentioned how I'm trying to get more and more into consistently putting YouTube videos out there. And what I've been thinking about doing, see, this is the thing about me, I'm an overthinker. I don't wanna put out a lot of bass fishing stuff in a row unless I absolutely have to. So if I can try to make it like every other video about you know a different type of fishing or species we target, that's what I'm gonna try to do so people don't think you know, I'm exclusively for bass fishing or walleye fishing or catfishing. So today we're gonna mix it up. We're gonna talk about catfish. So if you've spent your life fishing, you probably know that sound is in a lot of places when it comes to targeting fish, whether it be, you know, the clicking sound in a square bill, the rattles in a lipless crankbait, or, you know, just the brief clicking in uh, whether it be a stainless steel ball bearing or a BB in an ice fishing jig, sound is amplified by nine times underwater. And when you use that, oftentimes it can help call the fish in and bring them into you. So over the recent decade in the world of catfish tackle, we've seen an explosion in not only the stuff that we use, but also the things we can add to our rigs. And sound is no exception. They come in a wide variety of different colors. I've got metallic, I've got pink, and I've got your standard black ones. And then down here, I have a green one. Does color matter when it comes to your rattle or your sound when you're catfishing? Absolutely not. It's just something that helps give off that dinner bell call so that when either you're drifting or you've got live bait out, they can hear it underwater and they're able to come in and find your bait a lot easier that way. So some people will ask me, do I always have a rattle on my, my catfish rigs? No, not all the time, but a lot of the time, this can be a very small detail that helps eliminate a night from maybe one or two pulls to landing two or three fish. It helps call them in so the fish are able to find your bait and go in for it. Where a rattle really shines bright is whether or not you're fishing live bait or not, or if there's any current or you're moving the boat. If your bait is stationary on the bottom and it's not really going anywhere, a rattle isn't gonna help you all that much because either that bait on the end of your hook needs to be swimming to chirp that rattle around or the boat needs to be either suspending baits with a rattle down there to help call the fish in. So we're looking at my rig right here. This is the one I was using last night. I caught a flathead with. I just have my sinker slide, a three ounce coin sinker, my bead, then my swivel going down to my leader. And I've got a rattle and then I've got a little sinker bumper above my hook to help keep that rattle upward and protect the knot a little bit. So when that bluegill I was using was hooked on the bottom last night, you know, he was casually swimming. And then every so often he'd swim a little bit more. But this rattle, while it is not super duper loud, the sound being magnified by nine times underwater helped call in that flathead I caught last night. And it weighed about 20 pounds or so. And this is something I've noticed over the years. For a little bit of some time, I 
wasn't necessarily on board with using rattles. But I've, I've come to face the reality that you got to start putting them out there. And the more you do, the more you are going to become a believer in them. Every time you put a rattle out, is it going to be hit? Absolutely not. But sometimes I have noticed that when you do this, it can make the world of a difference. Last night, my only two fish came on rods with rattles. That happens a lot more often than you think. So I have... I just want to show off some of my catfish tackle. This is a Berkeley E-Cat. They don't make this rod anymore. Big spinning rod. Used this last night. Went on, out on the river with my buddy John. He caught one last September. Uh, actually on this Valentine. He got a nice flathead. Using a rattle. Helps bring him in. There are a lot of factors that go into being a successful catfish angler. And you want to have as many of the good things going for you as you possibly can. So whether you're using live bait or you're drifting cut bait, I've got this rod right behind me here. I could show off. This is my whisker seeker. I've got a Cooper rig dialed up, you know, and I've got my fixed weight. And this rattle goes back and forth. So rattles float. So with this weight being picked up off of the bottom and the little bit of current we had, this rattle is slowly going to be churning in the water. If you don't have much current, you might not need a rattle when it comes to cut bait because the scent dispersion is doing a lot. But if you're on a boat, and, or maybe it's a very big piece of cut bait that's swaying in the current a little bit. So this is a very big, I believe it's a 10 knot team catfish double action circle hook. This is a hybrid circle hook. You could either reel into or you can hook set it with. I had a really big piece of sucker head on here last night and it's drifting in the current and this rattle was going back and forth a little bit. I didn't get anything on this rod last night, but the only fish I caught uh, the last time I went out was both of these rods right here, the Pink Slime Cat, the Valentine, and the E-Cat. They both had rattles on them with live bluegills, and those bluegills, they're down there, they're swimming, they're doing their thing, and that rattle is going around. And then when they sense that a predator's in the area, you'll see it in your rod tip. Maybe your bell's jingling a little bit, and it's dancing. And you can see that bluegill freaking out a little bit. While that is happening, your rattle is going off too. And that can often trigger a flathead into not only finding your fish, but hitting it even quicker. It can sometimes make the world of a difference. But like 99% of things when it comes to fishing, it's not absolute. But what I will tell you about using rattles, if you're not using them, it's something you need to incorporate into your catfish game. When it comes to catfish tackle, 10 years ago, you know, the rods and reels and methods that I'm using, I didn't think they'd even exist. But here we are today. You want to have as many advantage going for you as you can. With you. And I just thought I'd put a video today and share that with you. If you're not using rattles, give them a shot. But if you do use rattles, let me know in the comment section below, how do you use them and when do you see them shine the brightest? So I'd like to say thanks for tuning in, listening to my short rant about rattles. Got a nice kale hook, a few beads to separate it from this one. This is what I caught the channel catfish on last night. I caught the flathead with this Valentine. This Valentine's a nice rod. It seems to be a lucky one. A lot of people I've taken out have caught fish with it. I appreciate you. If you'd ever be so generous, be sure to like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it greatly. But until next time, have a good one. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.